what it affords our students, what being able to have, have a brand new tech or a brand, uh, renovated Apollo, what it affords are, it changes teaching and learning. It, it changes the, 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 the classroom, it gives our kids more hands-on learning, it, it gives our kids more, you know, you can, you can concentrate, you can change a room from being a standard room to a room that has small groups, large group settings. Um, you, can, you can do things with culinary arts and, and, and different type of lab things. Um, and it, it changes the way that teachers, with technology, it's going to be able to change the way that teachers can deliver. I want success for all students and I want it like right now. Okay, that, that's big for me. I want kids or students feeling good about self. I want them to have that, that um, to feel good about self and about coming to school. And so I have to work on that in terms of um, not wanting all of it and all of it right now. I know things take time. And so I, you know, that's, that's a personal challenge for me. Um, you know, as I'm sitting there talking to a student, I, I'm like, okay, how can we do this? How can we do that? And, and so I have to pay attention to my own drive um, or, or my own clock. Um, you know, within the district, you know, when people talk about challenges, of course, we have many different things going on, whether it's, you know, uh, referendums that are getting ready to happen or whether it's the, the incident at Tech, whether it's the building burning down at Roosevelt a year or so ago. We've had different things that have just happened. Um, and, and so those are just some of the, okay, challenges that the world knows about. What's nice and what the world doesn't always know is some people perceive that the student groups are comprised of only Somali students. And that is not the case. We have Somali students. We have uh, students who are Hispanic or, or Latino. We have uh, African American st uh, students. We have students who are Caucasian. And so we have different student groups that are all have the same goal in mind. Um, how to get along, how to, learn, how to learn about each other, how to learn different cultures, um, and how to, to better um, function within a school setting, and not just our school setting, but the world. And I think that's one of the biggest things. Um, they're talking about real life experiences that they can take away from our, our kindergarten through 12th grade experience and apply it to their lives. try to make sure that you include the people from the past or, or, or that have that history and, and tech is rich in tradition and I think that that's one thing that we don't want to lose and that, that's a goal of ours not to lose the history not to lose the richness of and it's meeting with people in the community it's making sure that people have the information they need so that they can see what we are doing or, or what the proposals are or, and, and actually including community members in the, the design of the building and the design of some of the programs that would be within the building. Um, and, and so that's been our biggest thing is just trying to include community members and we started out with the 90 uh, member task force and there are people that have that history channel, there are people that, that are extremely passionate that have walked the halls of tech or have had family members um, that have attended tech. And so we're just trying to make sure that we include that and, and understand that we're not going to, it's not going to be tech or it might not necessarily be Clark Field, but we're going to have things that people are proud of and to be able to continue that tradition. For us, our focus is on student achievement. So I start right there. Um, no bones about it. We're trying to make sure that no matter what, what student, no matter what type of student you are, whether you're an honor student, AP student, you know, advanced honors, whether you are a student that what people are concerned is you're in the middle of the pack, um, whether you're a student that needs extra supports, whether you're a student that has special needs or EL student, we're trying to make sure that you are getting the education you need, that you're accelerating at a rate that is, is getting you, that, that you're accelerating. The, the referendum, here, here it comes and, it, and it's about, a, there's a tool, there's a vehicle um, and it's about talking to the community and making sure that we provide them with the information they need to make the decision that they need to make. Um, with that, it's, another thing is just supporting our teachers. We have some outstanding educators in District 742 that day in and day out um, are differentiating instruction. We have wide variety of students and our, our teachers do an outstanding job um, in the classroom and outside the classroom and don't always get credit. It's kind of a, it's a thank, it can be a thankless um, 
profession. And so those are some of the things we're trying to make sure we take care of teachers, trying to make sure that we serve students, concentrate on student achievement, talk to the community about the referendum, and just have District 742 people in the community to be proud of and, be in, and actually inviting people to be part of our school community.